Hey guys, b -Lows here, back again with another video, and today I'm going to be challenging myself into making a cheap budget gaming keyboard into hopefully an enthusiast grade level type keyboard. So the requirements I gave myself today is to have the whole board be under $100, have it look nice and sound nice. And by doing that, I use my trusty buddy Amazon. So let's backtrack a bit. The reason I'm doing this kind of video today is because I just spent a lot of money on other keyboards and my piggy bank is hurting. So we keeping it budget today, we're doing a different kind of style of video. If you do like it, let me know down below, leave a comment if you want me doing more of these types of videos or not. So by finding this keyboard, I went on a trusty Amazon website and basically searched up gaming keyboard. And then we picked the cheapest one, which is right over here. And I wanted to have hot swap switches and red switches. So this camera left me with this kind of board. There are a few other options, except I didn't like the way it looked. So we went with this $40 Canadian budget option right here. Next, I basically looked at keycaps. I scrolled for a bit of time till I found ones that I wanted. I wanted an XDA keycaps, which is why I went with these soy type milk keycaps. So lastly, since we didn't have that much money to play with, I just kind of looked at foam dampening foams looked around and i found this cheap option so i found this pack of 10 foam for the 17 bucks so with all that in the cart that brought us just under 100 bucks so it was time to order it and wait for shipping and just two days later we received everything I'm not gonna act like i didn't already unbox it so let's just get into things so before we check out the keyboards i'm just gonna change you guys angles real quick just uh one two and three so right here is the keyboard box if we open it up we do get the keyboard. It did say on the website that it came with red keycaps. Those are under the case. So let's just take this board out and put it to the side for now. And if we lift up this little tab over here, we have a little red switches. We have our USB cable that's included. And we have our basic keycap and switch remover. That's basically it for the keyboard box. Next, what we have are the keycaps. This is actually a really nice set that, again, was the same price as the board. So we have our keycap puller here. That's all is included with this kit. But we do have a full-size keyboard layout that we could do. So we do have some nice cream, light brown, and red color going on. There is also some blue in this board, which I will try and include, except this board is so tiny. I don't know what exact uh, setup and layout to do, but I'm gonna try and include some red and some blue in there to make it a bit nicer. These are uh, XDA style keycaps, not cherry. And I do prefer those, honestly. So I'm happy I chose those. And our last piece of equipment here is these neoprene foams. Uh, this was the cheapest option that fit within our budget and a, it's a, thick enough where I can add maybe a double layer and fit the PCB under it. Again, we have some materials at home that we're going to be using and cheating a bit to try and make this board sound the best that it can. Unfortunately, there's not much else we can do, but we're going to try our best to make this into an enthusiast grade keyboard. So here is the keyboard. It is very basic, you know, your 60% layout gray and white keycaps very cheap board honestly it reminds me of like uh, the hk gaming keyboards uh, very plasticky hollow pingy but i guess that's what you get when you pay uh, 40 bucks for a keyboard so i know what you guys want and it's all a sound test of this keyboard so sound test of this keyboard stock out of the box So that sounds terrible and I don't even want to look at this keyboard anymore. So I'm going to end the video and I'm scrapping this video and I want to throw this in the garbage. So goodbye everybody. Uh, 
As I did say before, these are the red switches and the board is hot swap. So we're gonna do it the best I can to make these uh, switches sound good, which is gonna be very hard in my opinion. And trying to help those stabilizers not sound terrible as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna open up this keyboard. We're gonna take it apart, take off the switches, see what we can do with it and take it from there. I'm gonna be using their included uh, keycap puller because we got it. Ugh. So I can already tell that the stabilizers aren't lubed, aren't greased, aren't anything. And these are box style reds. By what company? I don't know. But it does help a bit with the keycap stabilization. So the wobble, which doesn't really, it's still terrible. Ah. Okay, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna shake it. Well, that was much quicker and more efficient. I should've done that from the beginning. Okay, so as I'm taking out these switches, I'm gonna tell you I haven't done any research on this board. I have more or less just saw the price of it and bought it and made sure it had red switches. So if I do find the specs of these switches or even the brand of it, I can take a deeper look actually, hold on. Man, I really can't see this name. Um, I couldn't tell you. I'll try and look and find them and I will put it up in the video if I do. So obviously I am bashing on this board a lot, but in the end it is 40 bucks. But all in all, it is a hot swap keyboard for 40 bucks. So if ever you just want a cheap board to put switches in and go on with your life, go for it. But for me, I am not that simple. I'm very picky and this switch remover sucks. Let's see if this one does is any better. Much better. You know, every time I start a build, I start questioning myself, why do I even do this? Because now my hand cramps, and I have to take these all open, and then I have to lube them, and then I have to put them back. You guys want to know a sign if you're fat? The fact that I went into the garage to get myself my little screwdriver here, and the first thing I did was open the fridge. I think that's a sign to slow down. But not for this keyboard, because we're already taking off the stabilizers. And then we're gonna open up this board. This board has no screws on the bottom of the case. So as you can see, if I show you over here, you have the little screws. That's how you take off the plate and get access to the PCB. So we will be doing that right about now. So I will be modding the case first since it is the easiest thing to do. And then I will go into lubing the switches and basically try all night to get that done. This video has a time limit, okay? We have until tomorrow morning. If not, um, bad news. You hear that? That basically will transfer off into the switches and make them sound very bad. We'll put that to the side. We're gonna focus on this for now. Obviously first and best mod to do, we're gonna get our classic tape mod here and we're gonna put a bunch of tape over it. We'll just turn this around. There you go. Okay, so the board is all done and taped. I think there's enough layers. You know what, I'm gonna add one more down here. Now the board's done. So let's move over to the case. This is gonna be a bit more tricky. So this is quite a squishy mat, but I can cut it to what I need to and place it down. I'm gonna have to poke some holes like uh, around this board over here, something like that so I can screw it in there. Something like that, there you go, that works. So I'm gonna cut it up, line it up, and kind of make studs everywhere around it. So I'm gonna start off with this, obviously, so. 
So we're gonna do about the same thing over here. Oh, that would have been smarter. You know, I will say I kind of nailed that. There we go. And then same thing around here. We're just gonna. So we're just gonna be sticking with that kind of foam right now. If it still sounds bad after this one layer of foam, I do have one trick up my sleeve that I will be bringing out if not. But if I don't have to, then I will not. Hopefully it does sound good though. I don't want it to sound bad, but hopefully it sounds deep enough. So all that's left to do is to lube these switches. So I'm gonna take the next few hours to complete all of them. I'm also gonna lube these stabilizers here. So I'm probably gonna catch you guys up in the morning, finish up the video. But for the rest of the night, I'm gonna be looping these switches since the board is already done. Five hours later. So it is now the next morning and last night we managed to lube all these switches and stabilizers. Thanks to my brother, which is a big help. He helped lube most of the stabilizers, if not all of them. Yeah, I'll put his channel up here if you guys do wanna see. And pretty much that makes the whole board done. I was having a lot of complications with the actual board when I put the foam in. It doesn't sit quite right. There's like a little bump over it. So some of the switches aren't sitting very properly, but at this point, I don't really care because I'm not using this board. But if you do use this board, I don't recommend putting a foam under it or not this thick kind of foam. I'll put like a thin layer or something that can be squished like my cotton balls actually, if you want to see that video up here for you guys. But all that's left to do now is pretty much put onto keycaps and then we'll give my final, final reviews of this board. And look at that, they're all on and arranged. A very nice board, honestly I find. It's a very creamy type look to it and already sounds a million times better. So. Final thoughts of this keyboard, again, is very cheap. And that's that was the whole goal of this video, was to try and like mod it without really caring too much about it since it was only 40 bucks. But the, the case is like pretty much every other cheap gaming case you're gonna see on Amazon or any other website you look for, for like a gaming keyboard. So it's like a very thin plastic, with the same kind of mount with a plate. Kind of like this keyboard right here. It's, as you can see, it's uh, roughly the same. It was roughly the same price, but kind of the same build if you look at it. If you go more from the front, it's kind of like the same, same structure. So you're getting the same kind of everywhere, wherever you look. This one just happened to be white and cheaper but that one too is also a hot swap keyboard that one has optical switches and sounds terrible here's a little sound test but i used to use that for gaming and now i'm using the newfie keyboard as my daily keyboard a review coming on that very soon but next the keycaps are actually really impressive i really do like them and i love the way they look especially with the little red and blue it makes it look very nice. And I love the profile of these keycaps. They feel very, very smooth and good. And I'm definitely gonna be buying more like XDA type keycaps and not trying to stick with Cherry since I do like these rounded edges a lot. And again, this set comes for full size. I'm just using the 60% layout. So if you want to build a full size keyboard with these keycaps, you can. And I do recommend them because they are nice. Next for the foam, it definitely did take out that high pitch ping sound from the keyboard, but I don't recommend using it with this board since it's such a small gap in between the PCB and the hollow point that it made it really, really difficult to close this keyboard up actually and have all the, the switches line up. Even now they're not, some of them in the middle pop up, but I want to do as much as I can to try and make this sound good, which I think I did succeed for under $100. So I'm very happy about that. And maybe for my next build, I would use something 
I would use the same type of foam, but for a thicker style case where it actually has room to fit in. Cause this I had to squeeze and play with it and fight with it. And it took me a while, but we got it in the end. So before I leave you guys with a sound test, I do want to ask you, do you guys want me doing anything else with this board? Do you want me putting in different switches? Do you want me putting something else inside and trying to fit it in? Do you guys want me to give this away? I, this is a, not my perfect board. So I'm a little bit hesitant about giving it away. But if you guys do want that, like the video and subscribe. And if we're able to hit 50 subscribers by the end of March, I will be giving this away. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what you guys would like to see next. I do got a few more builds coming on the way. Other than that guys, it's been Belows and I'm out of here.